Hey guys, so let's talk a little bit about these rumors about uh, NVIDIA's new GeForce uh, high-end card that is uh, going to be called the GTX 680 and be the successor to the GTX 580. And actually kind of fun here, GTX 580, that's actually the card that I'm using in my computer. So uh, that we're getting a successor here, of course, we're you know, go going to get that and th that the 580 and the 590, that, that's almost, uh, the 590 90 was almost a, a dual core GTX 580, but uh, it wasn't really that of a success because it was like so, so much more expensive. And the GTX uh, 580 really is an awesome card for like every single game out there. So of course I'm not gonna talk that much about specs, but it seems like we had the first picture here of the G GeForce uh, GTX 680 here showing up, and uh, that we have uh, some rumors here that the CUDA cores on this one is gonna th th gonna be the three times. The the amount that we we saw uh, on the GTX 580. So going from 512 CUDA cores to 1536, that's that, that's, a, that's a pretty good update. Also, it seems like we have some internal leaks here of uh, what the kind of gaming performance we're, we're going to see here. So on some popular games here, we can see that they're comparing this uh, GTX 680 to uh, the Radeon HD 7970 and the 7950, which is high-end cards from AMD. Uh, and also you can see that they have the GTX 580 over there. So if we go ahead and look at some popular games over here, we can see on Battlefield 3 uh, in 1080p, uh, four times AA, uh, we can see that uh, we're going from 49, uh, 49 FPS on 580 and having 73 on the 680. So a pretty, pretty good update. Even though, uh, w will you like see a difference when, when you play? I mean you're probably not going to see a difference, but you may feel that sometimes it feels uh, a little more stable. And also, we had 51 FPS there on the 79, uh, 7970. But uh, I'm not like, sure AMD, I think that they have other cars as well. This may not just be the latest ones, but uh, of course, this is going to be the fastest uh, DirectX 11 car like at the moment. And uh, as, we can, as we can see here on this uh, chart here below, when they're comparing the 680 uh, versus the 7970, we can see that in some games it seems to be around 50% better in uh, Battlefield with four times AA uh, around around you know 50 to 60 percent better sounds uh, pretty badass but of course this is just a test from nvidia so obviously nvidia is, is gonna try games that they know they're good at or trying uh, in certain conditions that's uh, better for their graphic cars of course we need to view on these tests uh, from an independent uh, company that's comparing uh, graphical benchmarking tests but it seems like it, it's ranging from like 70 to 50% better in, in this benchmarking test. We could also see that they did try a third three and then that over there it's also have like over 50%, like 55% better uh, than the 7970 in uh, first person or FPS, of course, uh, in DirectX 11.1. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and also they're going to use like a budget version of the GTX 680 probably, they're calling the G680 Ti. It says they did last year with the... Wait a sec, did they have a 580 Ti? Okay, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but the 670 Ti, for, you know, body card for you people that may not want to fork out uh, that uh, as much cash. Uh, but the thing is, I mean, I have my GTX 580 right now. I can play, like, every single game out there. I don't have any problems, so why, why would you need this? I mean... Yeah, what kind of games? I mean, it's it's working awesome right now with the 580. But of course, I know that the the game developers are gonna make you know in more graphical intense games uh, because they're working together. They are making games that need more graphics, and then the graphic companies that's make you know and produce GPUs they make better cards, and that's just how they do so they can sell more all the time. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at some other games here, I will leave this in the description below. Awesome.